Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In my last video, we did the one-click Wi-Fi on UID. In this video, we're gonna do the one-click VPN. If you haven't seen those other videos or the initial UID setup, I'll put the links down below. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks and we have a Discord server and I'll put a link down below. Before we get started, you need to know if you have your public IP exposed to your UDM Pro, your UDM SE. If you don't have a public IP on your Unify OS consoles, you need to do some port forwarding. I'll put this link down below as well. This is to manage your UID VPN. And we could see that we need to forward the port 10118. If you have a public IP exposed to your Unify OS console, you don't need to worry about this. And you could just move forward with the VPN configuration. Now on my UDM, we could see all the networks I have and I have no remote user VPNs created. When we create this one-click VPN within UID, it will auto create a remote user VPN within our networks and I'll show you that once it's done. Now let's go to my UID dashboard. Now it says set up a one-click VPN. Simplify your organization's VPN access and management. We'll press set up. Now it's showing us a couple things. It's giving us a VPN name, which is Mac Telecom Networks dash VPN. And I'll just leave it at that. And then there's a checkbox that says assigned to all users of the current site. I'm going to check that off as I only have two users and they both could access the VPN. We could see it's being deployed on my Mac Telecom UDM Pro and then our VPN server, which is my public IP address in the protocol is UDP and I'll press continue. Now it says you have set up a one click VPN. Download the UI mobile app to start using the new VPN and we'll press okay. Now this is the main dashboard for the VPN settings under my UID workspace. We would see at the top that we have management and it says view VPN settings. Under the settings, it's just gonna give us general information, the name, the VPN server, the outer VPN port, which is 10118, the protocol UDP, a gateway subnet, and then optional DNS, as well as that connection time. If we look under assignments, since I checked off the allow all users out of that group, it's putting the two users into this. You could specify other users by going up to the assignment. Now I'm gonna get my phone connected to the computer and we'll see if this one-click VPN works. Now I'm on the UI app on my iPhone and we could see that we have the VPN here. I'll click on the VPN. And it's asking you, I would like to add a VPN configuration. All network activity on this iPhone may be filtered or monitored when using the VPN and we'll press allow. And there we go. We could see we're connected and at the top of the phone, it shows that the VPN has been connected. So that's very easy and it is a one click VPN. Also to add users, it's very easy. We just add them into the assignments. Now let's take more of a look at the VPN dashboard. So if we go under the overview, we could see that the assigned users, there's two in one in this group. We could see monthly active users, which is one, so 50% active. We could see the VPN server again and where it's deployed. We could see the connections, which there's been three, and it's been 100% connection rate. Here we could also filter by one day, one week, or one month, and it does show us our recent connection. So this is great for logging to see when people are connecting to your VPN. And we could also see the most active user. On the left-hand pane, we could see activities, and this will give us the same chart. We could do it by one day, one week, one month, or we could do custom. And we could also export this. Then below, we could see when the user connected, the activity and what the endpoint was. And we could also see when the connections failed. This failed because I was still on my Wi-Fi, which had the same IP as this VPN server. There's a few other settings that we could do in our main UID setting page. Under the VPN, we have the personal VPN password lifetime. We had set that to one week, one day, or one month. And then we have our VPN password complexity. It's by default set to eight characters, but we could boost that up to as many as 30 characters and we could have symbols and numbers. And then we could have the default VPN proxy. Do we want it to be global or do we only want it to be able to access the intranet? Now going back to my UDM Pro and then under the networks, we could see that this Mac Telecom Networks VPN was created. This is a remote user VPN and it specified me a subnet of 10.9.0.0 slash 24. We could edit this subnet if we'd like. We could see under the purpose that it's a remote user VPN it's using the interface of WAN, the gateway of 10901, and then it gives us our network range. So we could change this to whatever we'd like and also the name server. And then if we look under our firewall rules under the WAN local, it creates an allow UID VPN. So that's gonna be it for this video. As you can see, it's really easy to set that one click VPN. 
If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.